campaigning is a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. All we have to do is get a meetup group together and meet up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's real nice to be here. I'm sorry it took me so long to get by and say thank you to so many of you who have done so much, so much hard work. Before I get into any remarks about uh, what our activities have been and might be, I'd like to uh, introduce my family. Um, I would like first to introduce my wife, Carol. <laughs> yeah. political functions, I introduce her, and then maybe some of the kids will be there, and the grandkids will be there, and I always brag that I remember all the names of all my kids, <laughs> but, uh, and I remember the names of all the grandchildren, but she remembers their birthdays as well, <laughs> so she, she's a little bit better at that. Uh, tonight, I, I have a, a large number of family here today, because we're in the area for a family reunion, and uh, we do that once a year, and and we rotate around, there's five boys in our family, and we go uh, to each individual home. And, and most, uh, a lot of people here in this town know my oldest brother, and that is Bill. And he's taught here at the school for a long time. I think he's retired now, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but uh, his wife, Norma's not here tonight. And uh, I'm going to mention my four brothers, and I'll have them stand. And then I'm going to have the rest stand up, except I will mention also that uh, we have one of our five children here, and that's Rand, and he has his three boys uh, with him. But uh, my second oldest uh, brother is Dave, and Dave is sitting around here somewhere, uh, and his wife, uh, Margie, is with him. And uh, he, he didn't show up because he said he was tired listening to me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another brother, Jerry, is in, here in town as well. And, uh, and then uh, Wayne and his wife, uh, Donna, is here. So, but I'd like everybody here from the family to stand up and uh, say hello. <laughs> that's been paying attention to the internet after, over the last year or so uh, probably know how long Carol and I have been married because I was fascinated. Not only was there something organized by these meetup groups around the country when they had this thing called a money bomb and, and they raised like five or six million dollars in one day. That was pretty surprising, but probably what impressed me the most was when uh, the information was leaked out that Carol and I were uh, celebrating our 51st anniversary and the supporters decided you know, that might be a good time to send the campaign $51. And uh, we raised a million dollars that day. So those of you who participated in that, we were very grateful for that type of enthusiasm. But, uh, you know, a lot has happened in the last year and a half. Uh, for me, I think for the country and politically, and uh, to me it's been very exciting. A lot more positive things happen than I ever dreamed of, to tell you the truth. Because I was uh, uh, very reluctant, I uh, was a reluctant warrior, because uh, I've been in this battle for a long time. People ask me, well, what are you going to do now, uh, you know, since the uh, presidential election has been determined? I said, well, I'm just going to continue to do what I've been doing for 30 years. I, I keep campaigning for liberty. It might be in a different format, but that's what I, I will I continue to do. But a year and a half ago, when uh, the supporters came to me and said I should enter the race, uh, I argued and said that the time wasn't right. Uh, I didn't know how the young people would respond. They're probably not interested. They're probably interested in other things. And uh, I was delighted to find out that wasn't true. <laughs> and uh, also, um, we talk about a remnant, the, uh, a group of people that are always there in society to pick up the pieces. It's a, uh, a, biblic, a biblic, biblical uh, uh, example as well as an economic example of people who always exist to look after what is right and what is true. So there's been a remnant, but uh, the biblical admonition is that nobody knows who they are, where they are, how many they are. And uh, lo and behold, that group was much, much bigger than I ever dreamed. So once the campaign started, uh, things, things sort of got out of hand in some ways. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, things were discovered, and what happened on the internet was utterly amazing to me. And I do have to confess that uh, 
uh, you know, there's a lot I don't know about the internet, but I do want to admit I've used the computer a whole lot in the last 10 years. But what I didn't know about was Meetup and Facebook. And uh, evidently, uh, a lot of people talk to each other on the internet. And uh, it, it is positively amazing because today, uh, routinely, I get others coming up, even on the house floor, and I'll say, you know, why don't you tell me how you raise the money on the internet? Like, like I had a strategy, like I had an organization <laughs> that I hired somebody to do something more about the internet than I did. But it had nothing to do with that. To me, it had to do with a message. It didn't have much to do with me personally, as much as a message that I believe the American people will starve for, and they're still starved for it, and they want to hear it, it energizes young people, and if we want to change this country back to its original intent, I believe that this is the message that they have to hear, and that is limited government, personal, personal freedom, and obey the Constitution. <laughs>